Hi guys, welcome to Family Fun Pack. We're here in Bradenton, Florida at IMG Academy. We're gonna be following our kids around all day so you guys can see what they've been up to this whole week. Sounds like they've been having a lot of fun based on the text messages we've been Yes, getting. they've been doing soccer doing non stop. Yes, it's so great here. I think you guys are gonna love our vlog today. Here's the gym. Now we're learning how to do a deadlift. Hey guys, how is training this morning? Very good. Look who it is! It's so cute! Did you miss Alyssa? Yeah. He's been asking about you guys every single day. Aww. How's it been? It's been super fun. Good. I love it. Have you learned a lot? Yeah. Good. Alyssa brought her lunch over to the picnic table so we could eat with her today. Okay, ready? That's it. They're planning what they're gonna do. because it's a little hot outside, aren't we? That's where you enter the dorms, right? Yep. And this is like a little hangout area. Alyssa has a game coming up, so she's gonna go grab our cleats. Hey guys, how's the day going, Zach? Great. You guys headed out to your game? Um, yeah. Or scrimmage? Yeah. My sister loves your videos. Oh, thanks so much, appreciate that. Oh, Owen's missed you guys. He said group hug. That's so cute. He kept asking about you guys. <laughs> yeah, we're back, okay, there you go, Zach. I put Zach's hat on his head because he wasn't wearing it. And it's very hot here. So how's your training been this week? Oh, it's been great. I think we're gonna have a big scrimmage now. Awesome. In fact, I think we're gonna be late to the scrimmage. All right, we'll see you guys there. Okay, okay bye. bye. That's how most of the kids get transported here. They get to ride these cool trams. I just got off the phone with a really long call with a brand. Work never stops. But now we're heading over to watch the kids play soccer. Ah, there's a cute boy. I'm going to get a ride. Yeah, let's get you some AC for a second. We have a super good speed schedule here. Like, we're waking up at 6. Oh, my god. In California, it's going to be, like, 3. And we're going to try to stay on You're going to try to stay on that sleep schedule. Yeah. And, then, yeah. and then when we're, like, waking up at 3, we could say hi to you when you're about to fall asleep. <laughs> All right, they're going to warm up before the game. We're just heading over to see Zach and Chris play now. Kind of excited. Finally get to see all the kids play. Luckily my kids don't get embarrassed when I come over, or do they? Actually, a lot of people here are really excited to meet us, including a lot of the athletes they know about our channel. And they were so excited when they saw me jump out of the car earlier. It's pretty cute. But don't worry, I don't do anything really weird in order to embarrass my kids. Even though it would be really funny, you guys know me better than that. You know that I would be too shy to embarrass my kids because that would mean I'd probably be embarrassing myself. We just met one of Michael's coaches. She's right there. And she was saying how Michael is one of the most coachable kids out here. She said Michael's been having a great time. He's been hanging out with his roommates and that he's just such a nice kid. And I was really happy to hear that because of course what parent doesn't want to hear that their kid is 
really, really nice and a good boy and polite and coachable and all those good things. So. Some of these kids yeah. are 11 years old. Some uh, like really young. Ones. He just nice. turned nine. Yeah. So. She was like, has he played for a while? And I was like, no, like one or two seasons, nothing big. And she's like, wow, he's doing great. He's so teachable. So, sounds good. Now, some of you might be wondering why Michael's with some 11 year olds. He does because the camp organizes the kids according to their skill level. So, if there's an 11 year old who's maybe kind of a beginner, they might put him with the 9 and 10 year olds. Yeah. Look how cute they are out there. I like it because the kids are practicing against someone who's at their skill level or above. And that definitely causes them to improve. the twins are playing on. Hey Chris, how's it going? Good. Good. You guys look like you're playing hard out there. I'm tired. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys learning to play wide? Yeah. That's good how you put your back up against the line, it opens up the whole field, doesn't it? For the water, they have Gatorade and water. Nice. Yeah, you're doing great. Now we're heading to Michael, right? Michael next? Yep. Michael. And Chloe's just sleeping the day away. There's Michael's team. Looks like his team just scored again. Oh, there's Michael. I hear him celebrating. <laughs> and somewhere over here is where David's gonna be. Hey, there he is. David. Hey, my boy. How was your week? Great. I haven't seen you for so long. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's a little bit and good job wearing your hat. I'm really happy to see that. Water bottles messed up. What's wrong with it? Oh, it doesn't say shut? Uh oh. A little rubber seal fell off. Oh no. Now everybody's heading over to the stadium. 
So we're gonna see what's going on. Heading over that way. And if you're wondering why this field is all dirt, it's because they're about to replace it with brand new grass. Seriously? Yeah. I hope so. <laughs> It doesn't give you permission to act wrong. And so one of the things that I've always told my team is we want to kick their butts, but we want to make them thank us for it. If they want to spit on us after the game, we've done something wrong. But if we do everything the right way, then they wish they played on our team. That means you won their hearts. They wish they played for your team because of the way that you played the game. So it's important that everything you do besides just touching the ball is a statement about who you are. That's my main point here. Right? And, and who you are as a human being can make a big impact on how successful you are. Those two things go hand in hand. So do the right thing, do the right thing the right way at the right time every time. That's been one of the big pieces that we're trying to get across. And it's not just about soccer, but it's about life. So everyone's having fun, huh? Yeah. You guys look worn out. Look at all this sweat. Oh my gosh. They're training so hard. My whole team calls me Batman. So they're like, oh, I love your hat. Zach, you have the same hat. It's in the car. You left it. Yeah, they all call him the Batman. That's funny. Did you miss the kids? Oh, hi. He's hugging everyone. Oh, he wants a group hug. Oh, are those new Oh, yeah. They light up. They don't want to miss that tram. <laughs> it's hot outside. <laughs> We're like, bye. Uh, hey, when it's hot outside, they don't want to miss that free ride. Bye, guys. The kids just went and had dinner. We had dinner and we're heading back to hang out with them some more. Just like our weather has been all week. It's kind of cool right now. Yeah, it feels nice. There's a little breeze going on, some cloud feels cover. Nice. Feels pretty good it outside. It doesn't feel like 89 at all, but it is. Yeah, it actually it feels, feels nice. So we're just passing by the campus center again. The other side has tennis courts. Owen's blowing bubbles and Chloe is awake. Hi. Are you having a good day? Mm. Yeah. Here's one of your last looks at this absolutely gorgeous campus. I'll do a zoom out so you can see it because it is breathtakingly beautiful here. A little further past the dorms, there's a pool with a TV, sand volleyball, basketball. <laughs> there's Chris and Zach. Fun so that's Zach and that's Chris and they signed your phone. <laughs> we found Alyssa too! Aww. There's Michael. Hey bud. How you doing? You didn't see your mom yet? Yeah, I did. Oh, you did see him? I saw her at the ceremony. And during the practice, I saw you talking to the club. Oh yeah, nice. But you didn't see your mom just come in? They're here. I think they're looking for you. You look like you got a lot of sunshine, son. You're putting on sunscreen? Good. I love your Crocs. I just have to show those. You know, your coach said about you, Michael, she said you're one of the best listeners there, that you're really easy to coach. When they asked you to do something, you did it. And you know what? I heard your little crazy celebrations, too. <laughs> There's Michael. Owen really missed you. He won't stop hugging. Oh, he noticed Owen's new clogs. <laughs> Everybody's noticed Owen's new shoes. Hi, go, go. Did you miss me? Yeah. Are you sunburned? <laughs> you look red and hot. <laughs> I didn't get a hug that long, Michael. <laughs> Maybe because he It's okay. Yeah, I guess so. And there's David. David, you look sunburned too. What the heck? I, 
my gosh, you guys. But you look cute. <laughs> What'd you get? I don't know. Ooh, chicken and beef. Yeah, what'd you get? Alyssa got fruit. Oh, a banana? All kinds of stuff. Oh, they had cookies? Oh. Oh, someone gave it to you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Something I like is how they don't serve soda. Like, they only serve juice and water and healthy things over there. Yeah. You should. David and Matt are gonna go head out and do some stuff. I think David wants to play more soccer, believe it or not. And I'm gonna go back to the cafeteria. Is it too bright out here? Yeah. <laughs> are you using your hands to put ice? How clean are your hands? They're very clean. Huh. Does your water taste clean? Just as clean as Gogo's hands? Yeah. <laughs> also as clean as grass. As clean as grass. <laughs> well, he's been at soccer all day. Look what Alyssa made. She Correct. squeezed fresh strawberries, Correct. added lemonade, and made herself pink lemonade. There's Zach and Chris there in the pool with their friends. There's Zach acting so. <laughs> This would be Christine's oasis right here. Honestly, this whole pool area looks like an oasis to me. You can hear that thunder rolling in. Okay, kids gotta get out of the pool. There goes the siren. One day I had to do about an hour and a half workout. Then we did two soccer practices, which were both two hours long, wow. and a soccer game. When was so, the workout, in the morning? Uh, no, it was like, yeah, Kind of, more like lunchtime. You guys have been working hard. Yeah. You still hear that thunder? Yeah. So you guys gotta go inside, you can't even play basketball now? No. Yeah. Good, safety first. Lightning is a serious thing. They say Tampa Bay, Florida is the lightning capital of the world. So I'm glad they're making all the kids get out of the pool that fast because I want my kids safe. They're very serious about getting everyone into the dorms like ASAP. The siren literally went off like a minute or two ago and they're yelling for everyone to get in, and that's good. It shows they take safety very seriously here. There's some more thunder as we speak. Well, it looks like you guys are heading in to have fun, so remember you guys got to pack everything up tonight. All right, hopefully we'll see you guys later tonight. If not, tomorrow. Bye. Got their safety security driving around, making sure everyone's in. It's only been like three minutes. how fast they cleared that out. The only people walking around now are like the campus security and the adults. Because of the lightning, it looks like they're putting people on a bus instead of a tram. We also got a van over there for people still at dinner who need a ride back. Dinner is literally from that building over to this dorm. This is the girls and then the boys dorm is over there. And there goes another van full of athletes. So the weather thing just went off, guys. Yep, Zach and Chris are back in their dorm, David too. Everyone had to clear out. Alyssa's real used to it, you're nodding your head. <laughs> Alyssa just showed me the line over by the door. That was the line for those buses I showed you guys outside. The buses and the vans take the students safely back to their dorms. So I guess we're just gonna hang out in here a while longer. I'll just keep hoping Alyssa make one <laughs> Chloe literally just closed her eyes to fall asleep. It's the soothing, squishing sound of you making strawberry lemonade. She's like, I had a big day listening to soccer. I'm trying not to be asleep. Oh. Oh. Well, it's your last night. Then you're back to being all mad again. I missed you. Did you miss me? Yeah. I know you did. You miss Chloe too, huh? Yeah. Michael and Alyssa are riding the bus back to their dorms. Owen oh, wants to do a picture on the big IMG chair. Wow, you're pretty small compared to that chair. Is it good? It's really good. Hey, it's going to rain on you. I think it is going to rain. I gotta get in the door. Yeah, you better get in. There you guys are. Hello, last night. 
Oh, Michael's, Michael's here too. Oh. Couple kids saw a tornado forming like out the window. Oh wow! And then we heard that on the announcers for everyone to come down to the lobby, but apparently it's for only the south door. And then all these kids start freaking out, knocking on every door, but there was no tornado. I think it was like starting to form, but it didn't. Form. I know there was a major rainstorm last night. Oh yeah, I was raining. Oh, yeah. I got Michael's suitcase because it's pretty heavy for him. Looks like somebody missed his best friend. Well, I guess our day here is kind of over. Hopefully you guys got a good overview of what it's like over here at IMG because it is fantastic. I mean, everything's organized, everything's clean, everything's nice. The hotel is gorgeous. I know I mentioned that in the other vlog, but I love sleeping there. It just makes me happy. The air conditioning works so great. The bed yes. is comfortable. The kids are having fun. The, good. the trainers are nice. The they training got these is kids great. All locked down when it comes to safety too. As yeah. You guys saw with the lightning. Yeah. Everything's just great. Everything's wonderful. It's beautiful. The campus is nice. There's gorgeous palm trees. I love the colors. Like, I can't say enough nice things. They have a lot of different sports to choose from yeah. too. It's not just soccer. Yeah. yeah. There's like lacrosse, football, yeah. tennis, baseball, basketball. basketball. Mm -hmm. Am I forgetting something? Football. I said that one. I think. Okay. I don't know, pretty much every sport. So anyway, tell us in the comments what sport you play. We would love to hear. Let's talk sports. We love sports, love athletics. Absolutely. My favorite sport, as you guys probably know, is basketball. And I'm excited to play it again as soon as my back isn't hurt. Mm -hmm. Matt, We're both what do you love? I love basketball and soccer. Matt's really good at soccer. He's also really good at basketball. That's probably why our kids are so good at sports because Matt's really good. Anyway. Shop there when it comes to basketball. <laughs> I love basketball. We will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.